guys, so first off, yes, my hair is cut, and I'm not really happy with what happened today. It was it was fine when we went out, and then it got a lot mega poofier and kind of like a Bride of Frankenstein. So yes, I did get a haircut, and I did dye my hair, but I wanted to talk about Easter. Um, I didn't do an Easter basket for Lucas last year because he was only... Uh, he was born in February. Easter was, what, March or April? He was only about a month or two old, um, so he didn't really care too much about Easter. Uh, he was three months, so he didn't care about Easter. And this looks like a lot of stuff, but um, a lot of it is because I haven't taken stuff out of the packages, and I think I'm going to rearrange things. Um, and my main focus, I didn't want to go with a lot of candy and junk, um, and I also didn't want to go with a lot of just, like, filler, useless, dollar store kind of stuff that's just going to get lost or clutter up the house or not really have a loose, uh, a loose, a use. Um, so I got this little pack of um, jelly beans. I'm not really thrilled because of problems with the CEO of Jelly Bellies, but I couldn't really find, I didn't want to get a big bag of jelly beans, I just wanted to get a little, um, thing of jelly beans, and I'm going to go ahead, I got, um, a six pack of plastic eggs, I think these were like a dollar, because, well, for two reasons, I want to fill, um, at least one egg with the jelly beans for him, but he got, um, we went to Walgreens yesterday, just on a random trip, and I bought him and our nephew, Michael, um, some Skittles eggs that had little bags of Skittles in it. And he was playing with the egg last night, and he really seemed interested. So I figured, you know, we can keep these, save them for next year, and fill them next year. They can be good, you know, color matching things. We can play surprise games, you know, what's in the egg. Um, they have little holes in the top and bottom so he could take these in the bathtub um and six of them they're big enough he's trying to go to sleep right now and he doesn't want to go to sleep and he needs to go to sleep he's trying to, get my phone. He's trying to fight daddy for for daddy's phone so these are big um so i'm gonna fill one with the jelly beans and then the other one i found these little um it's a frog a duck a the lamb and I guess a blue bunny and a pink bunny. Um, so I found him some little finger puppets and I'm going to stick one in each of the eggs like that. Um, so he's getting finger puppets. He's getting the jelly beans. Um, obviously with candy, you have to be careful. I'm fine with him having little hard candies. He's, even though he's 13 months right now, he'll be um, 14 months when Easter is here. Um, so when he's getting this, I'm fine with him having things like jelly beans. Um, definitely, you know, it all depends on the child. And I am giving him candy, but he's not getting a lot of candy um, or, you know, a full basket of sweets. Um, Steven wanted to get him peeps, so I got lime peeps just because there were three in a pack and I'd rather him have three peeps instead of, you know, a whole, like, nine pack or whatever. Uh, edible Easter grass because Steven really wanted to try it, which looking at the ingredients list sounds disgusting. Potato starch, cornstarch, modified cornstarch, artificial flavor, acyl flame potassium, aspartame, yellow fly five, and blue five. Whatever. It's Easter. It's once a year, so this will probably most likely get eaten by Stephen and I. Um, and my mom brought up a good point. I kind of don't want Lucas to have this because I don't want him to get the idea that you can eat Easter grass or that you can eat regular grass. Um, so, yeah, he's getting that. I found him two little... Um, I'm probably actually going to go ahead and open these there. Bath books. He really, like, I love these because they're perfect to go in our diaper bag and then if they, oh god, they're always so hard to open. Um, if they go in the diaper bag and they get wet or whatever because something spills, they wipe right off because they're just, um, 
vinyl books, and of course, they're not going to open. Nothing ever opens when you're filming and you're on camera. So you have to either pre-open stuff, which I didn't do, because I wasn't planning. I got it open now. Now that I have them out, I can talk about them. So they're just, you know, simple little, they have a squeaker in them. But I found these, um, he had some Rudolph ones at Target. They're really simple, you know, just like lamb, basket, candies, eggs, chicks, flowers. And then this one is numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, so these are great. Um, he has the Target had, um, the Rudolph set. Um, and he has one that I know is still in his bath basket. Um, they're great to go in the bathtub. He likes to have them in there. It's something little too that, you know, it's tougher. As I said, it's just vinyl. So, you know, if it gets wet, it's not a problem. He can read them in the bathtub. If something spills, they clean right up. Mm -hmm. It's a tougher book that he's not just going to totally destroy it. I got him, um, this was in the dollar section. It's sidewalk chalk with a holder. Um, he's getting really into starting to color with crayons and things, so I figured this would be a good outdoor activity as it warms up. He's getting a little, um, I bought this sippy cup, um, at Target when it was on clearance, like, last year, when it was 49 cents. I figured he could have it in his Easter basket this year, and then Steven got him, I may take the bunny out of here. Steven got him, um, a bunny because for whatever reason, he thinks we need an arsenal of stuffed animals, but you know what, it is cute, and definitely, you know, something that we can tell Lucas, you know, you got that on, like, your first Easter, and then the Easter basket, um, is really cute, although it's breaking already, so I think I'm gonna get a new one, I got this, it was like a dollar, um, at Walgreens last year, I liked it just because of this liner, because the liner can be, can, uh, come out, I'm not really fond of the, um, basket, but for now it works, and I'm sure at some point we will replace it, so that is what Lucas is getting for Easter, and as I said, he will be 14 months old, so this gives you an idea of what to get your 14 month old or one year old for Easter, and as always, um, definitely you have to plan things accordingly, you know, some parents are not comfortable with their child having candy, or they're not comfortable with their kid having hard candy. The one thing I will say is you are the parent. You know what your child likes and doesn't like. You know what your child can handle and cannot handle. It's up to you. And I know that people are probably going to give me slack for giving him peep and giving him, you know, jelly beans. Heck, people will probably give me slack for letting him play with a plastic egg. Oh, look, finger puppets because he can stick them in his mouth and choke, you know. It's what kids do. They stick things in their mouths. They get bumps and bruises. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you soon. Bye.